Good morning from Turkey. I am Ashley. Welcome to Winging It with Ash and welcome to another day traveling here in Turkey. I am so excited for what today will bring. I was planning on coming only to Safranbolu, which my last video is in, and I've been having an amazing time. But as we traveled around and talked to a lot of locals, everyone said that we need to go to Amars Amasra. I believe that's what it's called. It's on the Black Sea. It's only a couple hours away by bus. And so that's the plan for today. After a delicious breakfast, we are now full, going to have some coffee, and then we're gonna head out on two little buses, some mini buses, <laughs> to get to this town by the sea. I have no idea what to expect, except that this afternoon we will enjoy some fish because we'll be seaside and that's what you do there. So I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you. Stick around, it's gonna be a good video. So today's little trip to Amasra was not planned, but with all my travel and my beautiful friend <laughs> along my side, we have decided on a last minute trip to Amasra because so many people, like what I've learned is that if locals are telling you to go somewhere, you need to listen because it must be an amazing place. There are buses that are a little quicker, but we're going to take the local form of transportation and take the tiny little bus uh, that's gonna stop in all the tiny towns and just make our way to the Black Sea. It should be, you know, just a local experience and I'm excited for it. A day trip that was unplanned, yeah. but should be amazing. And we'll be back at night and yeah. that all that experience in just a couple of hours. Yeah, it, it's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. I have taken my motion sickness pills because um, a bus stopping and starting and going through all these tiny towns. Curious how I'll feel, but I've popped a pill. <laughs> I do get motion sickness, so fingers crossed it won't, it won't be a problem. We are on our way to Amasra. We are taking this big van right here with a bunch of people. It's really just amazing drive. The mountains are beautiful. They're so green, so many trees. Uh, it's super bumpy, so it's really hard for me to get footage of it, but it is such a beautiful drive. And we're on there for about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, but we've come to this tiny town. We have five minutes to just rest. And they're drying corn kernels. Like they're literally making popcorn right here in the city center <laughs> with this little guy right low overlooking their work. There's two little ladies here that are sitting next to each other chatting. I'm pretty sure this is their handiwork of just in the city center drying out their corn. So cool. I love things like this. All right, off one bus and on to the next. We just have one more before we get to our location. <laughs> We have made it to Amasra and it is a windy here <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> And it is a little chillier than where we were before. Definitely a little colder weather, a little crisper in the air, which is not bad. I feel like we're fairly in, kind of in the mountains. Um, we actually, we went over the mountains and then we had to come down to the sea. So it is an absolutely beautiful area where the sea goes directly up into mountains that are so lush and green. It is absolutely stunning and I can see already why people would say we need to come and visit here. Ha <laughs> ha 
Shikurar. See, yeah, that's Tell the one that I like. Not, no, you can just have it in your breakfast. Yeah, I know I would much. love it on toast. First things first, after the views, is coming to this tiny little market where there are a bunch of women who have made homemade goods. So they have jams, honeys, um, a kind of soup that they um, make. Supposedly really easy to make and will keep you nice and warm throughout the winter. They just collected from the forest and then. Ondan sonra büyük bir kazana böyle doğruyoruz. Üzerine limon. So with the lemon and water they soak it. Uh -huh. A big yeah. container and then all overnight it waits. Ondan sonra yıkayıp yerde kaynatıyoruz. So just wash it and then boil it. Heh. Böyle 5-6 saat kaynayacak. Oh, five to six hours. Heh, bu hamur haline geliyor. Oh really? Heh. So it becomes like a, a dough eventually. Mm. Ondan sonra süzgeçten böyle geçiriyoruz bunu böyle. Oh, and then they just filter out. Yeah. Ondan sonra o bir gece bekliyor. Sizden sonra. Overnight. Yeah. Ondan sonra tekrar ocağı aynı şekilde akşama kadar kaynayacak. Yavaş kıskayıp. Oh kıskayı wow, just slowly boiling after the filtration. <gülüyor> Ondan sonra kapatıyoruz. Soğuyor yani altını kapattıktan sonra. Kalıyor öyle 200-2 saat. Sonra dolduruyoruz. Oh wow. Kaynar kapatıyoruz. After it's kind of... Cold, mm -hmm. then you can just bottle it up for like whole winter, and it's good for cough. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's also really good for your lungs as well, apparently. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm. She just gave us some fresh figs. I've never just bit into a fig like this before. I've seen them all over trees. Oh, my hair, my mouth. Mm, it's so soft and so good. Durun dedi, maraba geldi. Durun dedi, hemen karşınız o tarafa. Yi, yi, bak, bak, bak, şöyle yapacağız. Bak, bak. I don't eat the outside. <laughs> Woo! Ah, so sour, huh? Yeah. Mmm. Thank you very much. Hemen yemeğin üzerine bu şekil ufalanıyor. Bak bu. So you can just put it on your meal. It's like crumbling it. İkisi de güzel. It's much much different from like regular oregano smell. Subtle, but oh yeah, it's really subtle. Yeah, yeah. We came out of that market with so many little special goods. I'm so excited to go home with my strawberry jam and blueberry jam. But we also came out with some friends. The ladies in there were absolutely incredible and so hospitable. They were showing us everything. We were tasting everything and they're explaining everything to us, which was absolutely lovely. But now I am starving and the main event is to go to lunch. Thankfully this morning when I opened my Instagram, someone had messaged me and asked if I was going to go to Masra. And that was the plan for today already. So he said his cousin owns a restaurant and we should definitely go there because it's the best fish in all of <laughs> Turkey. So I am looking forward to test that out and I'm really excited to enjoy some fish here by the sea. Like fresh, fresh fish. So the best drink to go along with seafood is, in my opinion, not everybody's opinion, Raka, <laughs> which is an anise, an anise liqueur. Here in uh, Turkey they call it lion's milk uh, because it's milky like this, and I absolutely love that. And then you, it normally comes out clear, yeah, and then you add the water, dilute it with the water, you and then it, it becomes water. actually this cloudy white sugar. Yeah, with strong. Uh -huh. Yogurt honey thing, but I never had it before. Irmik helva with ice cream on top. They have brought us three different types of desserts and they all look amazing. Yeah, we are concerned about how we will finish it, but maybe we won't have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> 
now that we are stuffed full of food and full of dessert, we've decided to come down to the Black Sea and put our toes in the water before having to leave this beautiful town. We only really came here for a short period of time, although there are a few other things we could have seen in the city. It is, yeah, we're on a time crunch. So we saw what we could, we ate everything we could. <laughs> and now we're going to go for a little trip into the Black Sea. beautiful but it is crisp it is <laughs> cold putting your feet into it and the sun is just now going they made it to the other like side of this little mountain here even though unexpected I am so glad we listened to locals and took a day trip to Amasra a few hour bus ride later, we arrived safely to Safranbolu, where we looked forward to the next day to adventure around the surroundings of this beautiful Ottoman town. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of next week's video.